Hello, and welcome to Dish Grant. I'm your host, Stephen Lim. I've had the opportunity to try some of the most extravagant meals all around the world. But here, I'll be in the kitchen giving my guests a taste of that same luxury. With no limit to how much I can spend, I'll have 24 hours to create a dish beyond their wildest dreams. This is Dish Grant. Today's episode of Dish Granted is sponsored by Bright Sellers. Bright Sellers is a personalized wine subscription box that comes to your doorstep. If you wanted a Dish Granted for your own wine palette, Bright Sellers is for you. Here's how it works. You go online and take a 30 second quiz. Here we go. What is the one type of chocolate that you could eat for the rest of your life? Dark chocolate, obviously. I love iced tea with no sugar. I'm a whiskey kind of person, so we'll go whiskey. Ooh, they're all good, but I'm gonna go with orange juice. I do love wine with a good group of friends, so I'll select that. I like to try new things, so surprise me is my answer. Hmm, personally, I love red, but I'll do a white every once in a while. And that's it. All I have to do now is put in my information, and voila, a box of wine appears at my door. The world is an amazing place now. If you don't like one of the bottles of wine, they'll actually give you a replacement in your next box. Follow our link down below, click on that, and you'll get 50% off your next six bottles of wine. And now, on to Dish Granted. As always, we have Tony behind the camera and directing our show. What's up, Tony? What's up? You're pretty much a pro now. I'm a pro, I'm a pro. You're like the assistant to the assistant regional manager. <laughs> I'm a susu chef. A susu chef, yeah. Today, the special guest whose dish I will grant is none other than my good friend and old mentor at the old BuzzFeed, Keith Happersberger. That's right, one of the four Try Guys. Fun fact, when I first created my show Worth It, he was the person who helped develop the format. Parts where we're driving around, we're telling fun facts. That's actually stuff that Keith wanted to insert into the show to make it more fun. I wanted to make this episode to just say thank you to Keith. We used to have rooftop chats where he would give me advice on just what to do in life. I'm just rambling now. I love that old man. Yo, how's it going? It's going really well. I am so excited for this episode. It was manifested on Twitter. Yeah, I mean, I've already seen several episodes, so I was like, I would love for someone to cook for me. It looks like you're cooking up great stuff. Well, I'm ready. Okay, well, Steven, the dish you'll be granting me is fried chicken. <laughs> Of course fried it's fried chicken. chicken. It's gotta be fried chicken. What is it that you love about fried chicken so much? So when I eat fried chicken, I get a dopamine and serotonin release. Like I actually get a feeling of euphoria. Good fried chicken has a million textures and flavors all happening at once. I like bone-in fried chicken the most because that's where you get the most flavor. And then you take chicken and you can dip it into things like honey. If you want to go sweet, you can dip it in ranch if you want to stay savory. There's so many flavors packed into every bite. What is going to wow you tomorrow? Oh, easy. It's got to be crispy. You know, it has to have that great crunch as you bite in. It can be a little spicy. But if it is spicy, it better be delicious. I don't want heat mm. just for heat's sake. I want fried chicken to be elevated to a new place, Steven. That's what this show is all about. Can you make me a fried chicken experience that I've never had before? Wow, that is a lot of pressure. <laughs> I think I have enough to work with right now. I will try my best and see you tomorrow with something. Wow, I can't believe you're gonna figure all this out by tomorrow. <laughs> That's a challenge. <laughs> People have dedicated their entire lives to perfecting fried chicken. I'm not gonna perfect it in one day. I like the suggestion that he made at the end. Figure out like, what is the next chicken and waffles? Wow. <laughs> so, I think that'll be my starting point. Fried chicken and blank. Waffles are too sweet. So he wants something more savory. Chicken and rice is like a huge thing. Bread? Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich, right. So it's like chicken and some form of starch. What you thinking? So at the very beginning of the call, do you remember what Keith said? If I wasn't gonna go with fried chicken, I would want like hand pulled noodles. Something like pretty distinctly Northern Chinese because that's my new love affair. Noodles! You're onto something. Hold up. I'm running with a different color because it's an epiphany. Noodles. There you go. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just broke this. He wants all four kinds of chicken. Breast, thigh, leg, wing. Why don't we just give him a whole chicken? They're very ambitious of you. We just need a big pot though. Like, we can figure it out. 
Since you're frying the whole chicken, there is a concern about cooking evenly. We gotta open it up. Mm. I've seen like spatchcocking a chicken can like really flatten it out. Oh, this looks bad. Kinda looks like my chicken now, right? Color it in. It looks like a brown jellyfish. Shh, don't put that image in their minds. <gasps> it means we'll be overcooked. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should just cook those separately. Whoa, what is this? What you got? It's called angel wings? This is like a Thai recipe. Vermicelli noodles, we could literally do chicken noodles two ways. And he said he likes like Northern Chinese style. Have you ever had Xi'an Famous Foods in New York? They make these delicious sample noodles. Oh, and he mentioned at Tokyo Fried Chicken, they do like a dry seasoning on top afterward. So what if I make like a Sichuan dry rub Ooh. and then different levels of spice on the chicken? He loves the yuzu ponzu at Tokyo Fried Chicken. Let's just make our own yuzu ponzu sauce. That sounds bomb. Okay, great. I promise it will look more appetizing when I make it than it looks here. Just stay with me, people. Okay, we gotta get whole chicken. So let's go do a cut above and pick up a high quality Jidori chicken. Let's go to Nanan Ranch, picking up some peppercorn, chilies, some sauces, all the spices, all the spices. Oh, my mouth is tingling thinking about all the spices. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is I'm going to spatchcock a whole chicken. Let's pop this open. It's like a Christmas present. It is. How to spatchcock a chicken. The key to this is identifying the backbone, which is conveniently located right down the middle, just like a person. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need to know that. So this is the backbone right here? Or is this the backbone? This is the backbone? No, that's the breast. All right, let's do this. Just like a person. All the way through and voila. But I can't lay it flat yet because there's this tiny bone somewhere. Oh, you hear that? Got him. I'm actually gonna chop off the wings as well. So the most important thing I think with fried chicken is making sure that it's cooked perfectly. I watched about five to 10 YouTube videos of fried chicken recipes online. My favorite, his name is Kwong Tran. Delightfully golden brown and crispy. Look at that. The first coat consists of all purple flour. The second coat is a wet batter and it has club soda, eggs, salt, and flour. Very therapeutic whisking things together. Very therapeutic. And the final coating is the flour, salt, garlic salt, celery salt, ground thyme, onion powder, black pepper, white pepper, garlic powder, paprika, mustard. Wow, that's very strong. Woo! Yes, sneeze. Let's go ahead and do a test fry. All we're trying to do right now is just make sure that it fries nicely. Okay, we're gonna do around 18 to 20 minutes. And then maybe we'll do another fry, Korean style. FYI, for you viewers at home, make sure that you have safety precautions in place. Nicole, our lovely production manager, has brought baking soda to help throw out a grease fire if that happens. If that happens, you will meet Nicole very fast. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow! You hear that? Fried chicken. Okay, here we go. Wow. Wow. I don't know how it tastes. I don't know how juicy it's inside, but visually stunning. All right, second fry for the Try Guy. Some recipes say to do this for two to three minutes. Some say to do it for five, 10 minutes. I think five, because the breasts look kind of cooked. Okay, five minutes. Oh yeah. Double fry. Wow. The color is perfect. Oh. oh my gosh! Now is the moment of truth. Yo, I actually think we did a good job here. It's very moist. I'm genuinely surprised. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> Me too. Hey, I'm like, wow. Noodle time. Our dough is very simple. It's just wheat flour, salt, and water. 
form this together in one piece, and we're going to cover it and let it rest for 20 minutes. So while this rests, we are going to make our sauce. This is where the incorporation of the Sichuan peppercorns come in. So the Chinese way to describe the way this tastes is mala, numbing, spicy. Keith loves numbing spice. So this peppercorn I'm gonna add to not only the noodles, but also the spicy side of the fried chicken. She's numbing. <laughs> wow, that's crazy how it does that. Woo! My tongue is gone. Soy sauce, vinegar, and chili oil. You know, not enough numbing. I want to add more. Very good, very good. Let's make our noodles. So we're gonna make biang biang mian. It's actually the sound that it makes when you slap it on the table. Biang, biang, biang. And there's people who like, even like stretch it like, like this, and like they'll stretch it around you. Hand pulled noodles. Ready? Attempt number one. Here we go. No. 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 Are you using the right flour? I don't know. Okay, round two. We just need more noodle. Finesse. Finesse. No, oh, why? No! I think the dough is drying up. It's very dry. It's very dry. Ah! Let's try bread flour this time. And I'm gonna use less flour, more water. You know what though? Look, it's getting stretchy. It feels like what it's supposed to feel like. Yeah, maybe you just need to hand knead it. Oh, this is supposed to rest overnight for 12 hours based on the new recipe that I used. You know what I'm gonna do? Phone her friend right now. Her name is Keanu, food lover extraordinaire. She actually has her own kitchen studio called Jaconi. I need to ask her what in the Lord's name is happening to this dough. Hi, Keanu. What's going on with the dough? I thought you were making chicken. <laughs> I'm making biang biang noodles. Have you heard of biang biang? Yes, exactly. Okay. My dough came out dry as a rock. It's actually not that not dry too anymore. Bad. Do you Wait. mind if I? Yeah, please. So I've never made these noodles before, but I do a lot of stuff with dough. The more you add agitation, it tightens up. And what you want from noodles is for them to stretch and get right. big. If you feel like your dough is too tough, Time is your best solution. So I made this about an hour ago. Do you think I have rested it enough? Absolutely not. This is supposed to rest for 12 hours. Oh, damn it. If you cut it into smaller pieces, oil them, and then keep that nice and covered, you can also expedite the process. This is like white AP flour, right? This one is bread flour, actually. Oh, yeah, you're gonna want to eat. Dang it! Bread flour has more protein, and protein is what's making this so literally tough. Uh, Science is fun. <laughs> you brought a very calming energy to this set. I was screaming like this 30 minutes ago. Why? It's just food. Uh, you don't realize it's not just food. This is like proposing to somebody. Make it into a... A little rectangle. square, a rectangle, yes. But don't just pat. Oh, okay. You're stretching. Up, 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 out, 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 down, 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 I see. And then... It's like an air wag. Oh, yeah! Let's go! Oh, snap! How far do you go? I don't know! <laughs> We're just gonna keep going. Grab here and rip it. Biang biang mian, bitches. Beautiful. This is very fun. Oh no, it, mine folded. It's because we were slapping them around like school children. Mmm. These are really good. Wow. I'd be happy with that. Look at that. Keep on. Put all some of this in. Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. My tongue is entirely numb. <laughs> yes. 
Don't you love it? No. I love it. <laughs> I, I like it. I love it. I'm gonna make Keith's tongue so numb. Okay, it's the end of the day here, and we are going to make our angel wings. It requires some surgery. In the video, she's just kind of like cutting around the bone where it connects to the meat. Hey! Okay, last thing to do today is to marinate all of our meat. These angel wings are going to be marinating overnight in a soy blend with sugar. I'm all about efficiency. Great, that's it. Very simple marinade. Woo! Okay, I actually purchased Keith's hot sauce for this moment. If there's anything Keith loves, it's promoting himself. <laughs> so what are we gonna do for him? So we're gonna have our buttermilk, our eggs, and Keith's hot sauce. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of hot sauce. Let's do three. Four? That's probably good. That's about half the bottle. That's a lot of the bottle, actually. Yeah. Marry is when two people join together and get married. Marinade is when you bring flavors together and join. Is that this? Is is that a coincidence? Do you marinate? Take this chicken to be your person that you marinate. I do. By the power given to me, I combine these flavors for eternity. I love how nobody's laughing at my joke. <laughs> Not a soul. Into the fridge you go. After this, their marinade will be consummated. Constipated? Consummated. See you in day two. Today, we're gonna put it all together. Fried chicken and nudes, baby. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pop it out of the marinade and let it dry off for about an hour and a half. So these wings have been marinating overnight. The process is relatively simple. Ground pork, shiitake mushrooms, grated carrots, scallions, last noodles, garlic, cilantro, peppercorn mixture, oyster sauce, soy sauce, fish sauce, sugar. Mix them together and then stuff that wing. These are gonna go in the oven for 15 minutes. For this dry rub, three tablespoons of Szechuan peppercorn. It's like more if I don't use it for Keith, I'm gonna eat it myself. Five spice powder, garlic powder, kosher salt. Mmm, I'm excited. What? Yeah. Wow. Okay, this is the moment when it all comes together. Let's list it out. I'm going to fry the whole bird. Let's go, it's a bath. Meanwhile, I'm going to pull the noodles, boil those, take the bird out, let it rest, fry our angel wing. Um, noodles, these noodles are done. Yeah. Time to reassemble. Get back with your body. Careful. Mix the sauce in, plate them. Check this out. We have mild keef. Kind of spicy keef. And finally, Take me to the hospital, Keith. Oh my gosh, he's gonna die. <laughs> That's a plate. Okay, there we have it. Chicken and nudes. Ooh, let's go. Is that Keith? It's me. It's Keith. Is it happening? It's happening. Oh my gosh. Take a seat, Keith. It smells amazing. Whoa, we're inside. Keith Habersberger, your dish has been granted. Whoa, are you kidding me? That's incredible, it's got little flags of meat in it. And you made ample noodles? There's no way you made these. Absolutely no way that I toiled and cried. And you figured out how to make handful noodles? I did. That's so hard. All right, you challenged me to invent the new chicken and blank. The answer is chicken and nudes. Wow. Nudes paired with breasts and thighs, my goodness, Steven. 
how did you do it? What better way to eat fried chicken than with some sort of delicious starch? Yeah. You're like, oh man, if I couldn't do fried chicken, I would be doing like handful of noodles or something like that. We heard you. Wow. This is actually chicken noodles, two ways. These wings, my friend, no. were deboned and stuffed with a mixture of pork and vermicelli noodle. There's basil, there's all sorts of things in there. They're actually called Thai angel wings. Oh my gosh, how would you keep it so hot? <laughs> I want us to see the midsection of it. Holy cow, there's noodles in here. Wow, it's got so much going on. Are there carrots in here? There are. <laughs> I would have expected carrots. Oh, that's so good. I'm gonna put it in the ponzu. I feel like the sweetness will go really well with it. Holy cow, that's great. I know I asked for fried chicken, but I have to have some of this noodle. Oh yeah. They got some elasticity, great chew. I like that they aren't too spicy either. Which makes me think the chicken very much is. That was intentional, yes. There's three zones of spice There's in face. three zones? On Keith's face. That one is a full layer of what I assume is ground up Szechuan peppercorn and maybe some other things. It is. Because I can smell it. Yeah. That's fun. Wow, look at this, look at this. Everybody look, <laughs> dripping with moisture. The steam is rising out of it. It's perfectly golden brown. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Dark meat is cooked perfectly. Very moist, very flavorful. Come here, yeah. I judge fried chicken on its breast, and this, it's moist. You can see the sheen. Wow, Steven. Oh yeah, that Szechuan flavor is great. It just makes every next bite taste more delicious. Yeah. Let me do the whole thing. Honestly, when I was coming here, I was like, yeah, he's just gonna make fried chicken, it's gonna be good, I'll say it's good, it'll be a crush, everybody will be like, yeah, I saw Keith eat fried chicken, I love that. But this is, you, 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 you grand in my dish. I didn't even know this is what I wanted. Oh my goodness. Did everybody in here eat this? And go, oh my goodness. <laughs> I gotta go hard. The crazy overspiced leg. Tie it up, dunk it in. That's amazing. I want to eat all of it. <laughs> I was honestly afraid of that side, but that's how it should be. My lips are tingling, my tongue is tingling. Steven? Yeah? It's giving me that euphoria. Oh. Where I'm like getting that like actual feeling of ecstasy, almost like a high. <laughs> it's really only happened at this level a few times. When I had Howlin' Ray's the first time, I was like, it's so good, but it hurts so bad. I don't know what to do with myself. Should I stand up? <laughs> right now I'm having that same feeling of like, should I stand up? I'm not thirsty. You know, my only critique is that we're not all here together eating. I, I can join you and eat some. I think you should come eat it because it's so good. The thing about Nashville hot chicken, love it, but it's so painful. It's painful. This actually... It doesn't hurt. But you get the same sensation. Yeah, your brain is like pouring out all these happy chemicals. Mmm. It's so good. Steven, you should be so proud. I, it's one of the best fried chickens I've ever had. No way. No I'm not way. even kidding. You gotta try the swing. Plus the noodle. Dip in the ponzu. Oh man. It's kind of like an egg roll. Mm -hmm. But instead of rice paper, it's chicken. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so so it. I didn't realize I was clapping right underneath the blue mic, so let's we'll bring it down. Steven, how do you feel? Is this your biggest triumph? in the kitchen ever? Maybe. What you have done is so difficult and so far beyond what I expected. Today, you earned a gold star. Truly, Steven, I think you've made one of the top five fried chicken meals of my life, which is huge. I have had fried chicken from almost every state I've been in at this point. It's competing for the top because it has all the elements of what I love. Wow. It's covered in glitter, so yes. you can't touch anything after. <laughs> now there's glitter on me. This means a lot. I'm so upset that I ate half of it. Yeah, because we gotta stay from the crew. As I want, no, that's not gonna happen. Oh. I, but I, it's so good. You know, you got your own hot sauce, maybe it's time. Bro, if you wanna open up a food truck and make this, I will happily fund it. I think you could crush with this. I mean, you're friends with all the top chefs now, so just call one of them up, because it's incredible. Thank you.